Hello, uh, my name's Tom Millen and I'm a curator at Silber Zoltz Science and Media Festival that takes place every year in Halle in Germany. Um, it's a festival for a large public audience that is all about the power of combining art and science um, to get your message out there to people. It consists of films, talks, workshops and a large kind of public exhibition that is the part of the festival that I curate. For this year's festival, we're going to be collaborating with the Cyber Valley Initiative, which is Europe's largest research cooperation in the field of artificial intelligence, um, to present a four day program of arts activities that will be co created live by an AI. I'm joined by Dr. Johanna Stelzer from Lunar Ring, who is responsible for the creation of this AI system at the heart of the exciting showcase, and who's going to talk a little bit more about our project and the AI at the heart of it. So Johannes, uh, can you introduce Lunar Ring and then describe uh, for us exactly what we're going to be doing this year in Halle? Yeah, sure. Hi, my name is Johannes and I'm a founding member of the AI artist collective uh, Lunar Ring. We are based in uh, Tübingen in the Cyber Valley in southern Germany. And we come largely from a scientific background in uh, neuroscience, uh, artificial intelligence and also physics. And you know, our observation is that the field of artificial intelligence is just rapidly, rapidly developing, ever faster, accelerating. And we believe that this uh, technology ha might have a bigger impact than, well, the discovery of making use of fire. So it's, it's really a tremendous transformative change that, that is just ahead of us. And um, our aim is to give a little bit of a different perspective on that phenomenon of artificial intelligence by taking an approach that uh, directly speaks to our uh, senses and is a rather kind of emotional uh, approach because um, we feel that artificial intelligence, that's not something that's um, necessarily uh, cold and abstract and uh, rational, but it, it could be also something that's that's rather organic and almost that's something that it tries to reach out to us and uh, connect to us and get in touch with us. So we're seeing some images here of uh, a previous kind of version of this installation um, where you fed the AI some uh, data based on different artists and then through the, the camera itself it was kind of reinterpreting uh, the scenes in front of us through the lens of that of that artist, is that right? Exactly. So the this previous exhibition consists of three parts, basically a camera, and that camera feeds into a supercomputer that we had installed locally. And what this uh, supercomputer is doing, it's basically in real time um, hallucinating on top of these uh, structures that it finds in the, in the camera image. And it's hallucinating uh, various image structures, colors, and, um, and forms in real time onto that, that kind of still fits the camera input image. And uh, the result of that, we mirrored back on a big screen to the people who stand in front of it. And there's an interesting question around authorship there. So, I mean, how much of uh, what we're seeing that's created by the AI is created <laughs> by the AI itself? And how much is it just a huge amount of human input that we've been that, that's been put into there, so it, like in the drawings and the images that you're feeding it itself? It's always a blend of both, ultimately. The way that uh, you can think of it is that um, the AI is really trained on a gigantic uh, database of uh, visual imagery, and it tries to understand the visual aspects of, of our world. It takes that as a basis, and then we have a big set of uh, various uh, images uh, that give the structures, paintings that could be paintings, that could be uh, renderings of fractals, uh, it could be all kinds of image material. And then what happens is that it recombines uh, the, the structures that it finds in the original image into something that is new, that is really apart from that. So in that sense, uh, a good way to think about it is that the AI uh, gets inspired, gets inspired what, what it sees, 
and tries to uh, mimic the certain patterns and certain uh, structures that it finds in the original image. So it's, it's going beyond just copying and pasting some, some forms, but rather uh, of trying to create something that uh, gets a similar um, emotional feel in terms of structures and colors. And then, so for this uh, version, new version of the installation that we're going to be presenting in Halle later this year, uh, there's some kind of new features that the AI will be, uh, that, that you've developed for the AI itself. Can you talk a little bit more about those? Yeah, we plan to bring the whole thing to the next level. And that next level is that um, while in this previous exhibition, we have a static camera that will always film whatever is in front of it, this time we'll have something, think of it as an AI controlled cameraman. And what this cameraman does, or camera woman, uh, who knows, uh, is slowly zooming into certain parts of the visual field of that camera. And it does that by trying to be curious. Yeah? It tries to see certain things that could be people moving in a specific way or people dressing in a specific way or behaving in a specific way so that they can try to attract uh, this attention, this curiosity of the AI. And uh, the, what we really want to hit on is um, to create the sensation of uh, that there's, there's some otherness, there's some agency, there's some entity uh, that's curious and intelligent and playful, and that is more seeking the humans and more seeking to connect with the humans and looking looking really what is going on and, and trying to take a look and understand maybe what is happening. And this is we're going to mirror back on a, uh, on a big screen. Yeah, that's so cool. I love the idea that it, there could be like a little dog running across the screen and the AI finds it super fascinating or or maybe even like something really unexpected, like a bit of rubbish just flying through the air that the yeah. that, that the AI suddenly becomes like very interested in because it's it's moving in a way that it hasn't really it hasn't really seen before. Yeah. And then and then in order to kind of expand on this, is what what we're going to do as the festival is curate kind of a whole program of events for four days. So there'll be We'll start off with yoga with AI in the morning and then and then have art classes in collaboration with this AI in the afternoon and then finish with like classical concerts or algo raves in the evening so that we really give this opportunity for the AI to collaborate creatively um, with uh, human artists. And so, but this this kind of idea that it's like, looking around and peering at what it finds interesting i wonder like how similar this kind of technology that you're using for this installation is is to like kind of how self-driving cars see now or is that is it a, is it comparable at all or is it more something that maybe we'll see in the future the way that kind of androids might experience the world there are indeed some some parallels in terms of that for instance what a uh, 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 modern computer vision uh, neural nets uh, do in self-driving cars is they analyze the scene in front, they say, oh, there's a bicyclist, oh, there's a dog, there's a car, here's the driving path and so on. So you try to make sense of the visual scene and that is also the foundation of, of, of our um, algorithms that, that we are using uh, to, to basically uh, decipher, decipher the visual world around us. But the perspective that we should take is that uh, we humans, we have left such a gigantic uh, data pool, like our internet and all of our knowledge that is, that is digital. And we're only now just beginning to interconnect uh, this, this knowledge uh, with artificial intelligence. And the, the really interesting thing that is, that is happening now is the multimodality of it. Meaning that um, as our brain does, we're bringing together different modalities, for instance, a visual and semantic modality or visual and auditory modality into a, like a joint representation, uh, meaning that this joint representation encodes and interlinks uh, several senses. And that is a trend that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that has started uh, a few years back and uh, will be increasingly more, more interesting uh, for us to uh, experience uh, the world in a fresh fresh way with the help of artificial intelligence where there's pos possible new interconnections and new links that are being formed. Awesome. Well, I can't wait to see what happens uh, later in the year. 
Uh, thank you so much, Johannes. Um, that's all we've got time for, I'm afraid. But uh, you, if anybody is interested, then the installation is going to be presented from the 15th to the 19th of September in Halle uh, as part of the Silver Salt Science and Media Festival.